Hello YouTube, welcome to the CRPG Castle. Oh, my name is Rogan Bald and we are here with a Dragon Age 2 playthrough. We've been playing through the saga and it's time to play Dragon Age 2. And we're doing this on the nightmare mode and in the top left, uh, upper top uh, left of the screen you're gonna see a skull and a number. This is our death counter. We're trying to do this Iron Man-ish. So if we die, we won't stop, but so far we haven't and that's beautiful because now we have to do the Ferris quest line and we will take this opportunity to also open a new companion Isabella so I've been playing this specifically because I'm playing the whole saga and I'm having fun with this game although it has its problems we know it but well, lucky. I'll tell you what. I'm having fun, I'm doing this exclusively for YouTube, but you can also see me playing this on Twitch live, on another playthrough a Two-Handed Warrior, so if you like that, of course, you can hop in there, and also if you like the content and the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to follow, to throw that like, or even that dislike, to comment, all that sweet YouTube jazz. But anyways, let's start this, Isabella knows how to throw a punch. And that's what she's doing right now. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? Is it Lucky? <laughs> I didn't think so. been dying to know what was going through your head when you fought that ogre for the first few seconds what do they feed those things <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one you're lucky just to be standing here somehow Hawk I imagine things won't be dull with you around not that I expect the deep roads to be boring mind you constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake what about you? Been in any good battles? Does arguing with Bartrand count? I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... Let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurers. And that's Varix for us. Uh, we could have been sarcastic and get more friendship out of this, but I am trying to be very much aggressive in this playthrough. We've been the sarcastic route already, and well, it is what it is. Less friendship, but it's gonna open other, hopefully, solutions of problems that will present themselves later my and here i thought the only men in this place were the sotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail you haven't met me mm, yes though i'd like to i'm isabella previously captain isabella sadly without my ship the title rings a bit hollow you're ferelden aren't you you have that look about you I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. Can't anyone fix their own lives around here? Must be something in the water. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. I think I could manage watching your back. Let's accept that. I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. No. And that's okay. Isabella's quest that we just started. Let's go. Let's go for it.
Low Tower at night, the first sacrifice. We gotta finish that also and as well. Try not to tap into any traps here to get the experience from disarming them all. And that's perfect. Kill the desire demon. Our companions handled the upstairs part. That ring looks so leisure. A severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. Let's not forget to loot everything we have here. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring. We are soloing right now, which means we are very strong. There's a trap, a cool staff that we got, and that's about it. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go. Talk to Emmerich, and then we go to High Town at night. We do Isabella's, we do Ferris, and we keep up. recognize your mage this was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes i was also attacked by shades these are human bones then there is no chance of finding meren alive or any of the others this isn't over i'm going to get the bastard that did this i know how you feel sirrah my people have been slow to react but this needs official support I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. And yes, we got something out of it. So now it's night time. We will 
be doing quite a lot of night activities now. These thugs are this area is very uh, tricky. The enemies, especially the fake guards. But if we pick our targets correctly, we should be fine. Also, we have Oh, there goes Barry killing us, anyways. Uh, Anders is using the ice. So let's switch to spirit. We problem, we probably won't have problems here. That was a mistake of our part, but sometimes it happens because of the cooldown of bursting arrows. We gotta keep a check on that. And yeah, friendly fire has that that problem, you know. And here she is, well, a pharaoh. Remember me? You still owe me from what you gave to that urchin. Since you've done so well for yourself. I'm not paying you for goods you stole in the first place. Yep. I intend to take what you owe with interest. So let's select this as our first target because Varric is probably gonna burst this here. And then there's a Taro. We Twin Fang her. And that's pretty much it. This fight's not hard at all. By this point. And she even drops a coin for us. Which we need anyways. There's a crate here. And it's time to start Isabella. There you are. Been here for hours. Peter hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the witch we're looking for. We got her. Focus the archers. Select our targets. Kill them quick. Twin Fangs is 
one of the best DPS skills in this game. You should definitely get it as soon as it gets available. There she goes. And there they all go. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo. They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Your threats end here. That's such an awesome cutscene and a way to start a fight. Oh, of course. Of course. Now we just deal with this guy here. Oh, there's the two handers. Those are the biggest rats. But that's that. Should have done that a long time ago. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. Simple as that. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. And that's how this goes, so... We won't be messing with Isabella right now. We might get her later. She is an option of a tank if you want to, although nothing can actually surpass Aveline. As Aveline is just a beautiful beast that is ready for anything.
But anyways, that that's Isabella's first part of the quest. It's time to do no Ferris. Left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Denarius may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. We shouldn't wait any longer then. Agreed. And now we're gonna try this setup here. We gotta be really careful on how we build Fenris because there's a lot of friendly fire within this guy. So I won't spend much into this. We will get the cleave setting and we will be like letting this. him That's take good. the initiative. Uh, let's switch Ender's staff again. The problem and the reason why I use so many staffs here is of course the immunities that presents as a problem in the in the early game We have like a real threat here with Varric using his bursting arrow so what we are going to do in this case is go into tactics and disable this. Oh wow. I am trying to avoid as much as I can to stick around. And that's that, we dealt with this, as long as we know how to pick our targets and to avoid AoE from our friends, we should be fine. They were trying to get 
to enter so we kind of blocked them and that generated a lot of uh, damage to our part without the counter damage from them and that's something that is also cool some chests here we gotta pick them all uh, we can also give this guy some jewelry it doesn't really matter on the accessories right now Save your cooldowns for this guy here. Especially twin tanks. And if needed be, of course, you can always stealth. But as long as we are in control of damage and paying attention to our HP pool bar, uh, we shouldn't have a problem. great I don't need to worry about the loot that I'm getting I'll check it out later it's not like I'm going to switch right now so yeah arcane horror Twin fangs to deal with him Yeah, that's pretty much playing the rogue. I mean, we are always uh, repositioning. We are always trying to go for the back lane, and of course, trying to avoid when Varric stuns us is also a good idea. But even when that happens. We can still manage. Gone. I had hoped. No, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Denarius left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. So here we got some named items. Uh, every time you have a named item, you can check it out to see if it's good or not, if it's worth it or not. Don't get yourself uh, drawn by colors only. Sometimes you have beauties like this here, for instance, uh, which is strongest than what we are using, even though it has less stats. We could go for something like this, for instance.
But yeah, that's all the items we got here. It's all good. Let's get out. And since we are here, we can immediately go back in and talk to Ferris to kind of socialize, you know. escaped a land of dark magic only to have it hunt me at every turn it is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul and now i find myself in the company of even more mages ah here it comes i saw you casting spells inside i should have realized sooner what you really were you harbor a viper in your midst it will turn on you and strike when you least expect that is in its nature talking about a Grey Warden and a healer, and a few other things, but let's not mention those. I'm not blind. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. But even a best-intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation, and then their power is a curse to inflict upon others. Considering all the curses inflicted on us, I'd say it's an even trade. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Are you going to have a problem with my companion? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. And that's Ferris. Let's get our party setup back. There we go. We got some rivalry due to the fact that we defended Anders. Grigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. So they were frightened of you? None of his guests were like you. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. Is getting back at your master all that matters to you? Hmm. There are days when it feels that way. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I'm glad to be out of Ferelden. And that's it? You leave it behind so easily? You survive? And you move on. What else do you want? Something different. So should you. I apologize. Your life is your own. It simply sounds very familiar. 
Don't leave then. Stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Back off. Of course. I meant nothing by it. I will not keep you longer. Another time. Those perhaps. guys are just too easygoing. And nope, we are not dating this one. But yeah, guys, this is the good time to set this episode. And on the next one, who knows, we might go for Mero. So yeah, if you like that, if you like the saga, if you like watching me play this game, throw that like. Comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Go watch me live on Twitch. Don't forget to spread the love. See ya.